Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I took a little break to go help out with some work stuff. Since uh, today is still the day where I <laughs> got off work early because of uh, wind. Now we have properly started this. Unless I get just absolutely destroyed by a... Ow. Is there like somebody next to us? No? I am- oh my gosh, I'm gonna scream. I can't- Oh jeez. Oh, Ageth Prime. Yeah, we can get him. That's cool. That's fine. There? Like, oh my gosh. What are they just- they're just- Oh, I can't res them yet. Okay, who got in there? What the re- <laughs> Oh my gosh! Trying to heal Yara. No! Ow, why is this guy following me? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sc- Why is my recharge not working? Is that a- no, no. I can't throw anything at him. Perfect. Snipers are scary. Now I can get close without worrying. Also, I can rev it up. I think... I'll get closer to that. No, let's actually do 
Stasis. Are we good? Oh, something's still alive. Okay. I'm gonna scream. That's I unfair. You, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what they've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Uh, no, for one thing. And, um, <laughs> for another, that's not what would happen. Like, he, they're just, they're just using him. He thinks they'll let him live, and, you know, that he can, you know, have some sort of power in a Reaper. Like, I don't know, the, the whole concept of what he thinks they're gonna do, whereas their concept is utter destruction, and his is like, they will rule us, and it's like, that's not how it works. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. So he does. There's something in there that of him that questions it. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. That's it? Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. It's already happening! Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. He has also been upgraded since we last saw him. He keeps getting more metal parts. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. But does he not hear himself, you know? It's like, oh, the only reason is because of this. Flimsy thing. Once that reason is gone, then you're kind of screwed. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. 
Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers, we can beat them! I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. Uh, there definitely is. Well, the, to, it's not logical to us. Utter annihilation is not logical to anybody. Um, but it is logical to them. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. His favorite My word. Is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. No, I don't want to do it. I don't think anything I have actually is going to work on it. Oh, well, that worked. Ah, uh, what, uh, what was hitting me? What was hitting me? Question mark. I'm gonna scream. Oh my gosh, it couldn't do it after the freaking cutscene. Oh my gosh, I'm playing on baby easy mode for the rest of forever. Oh my gosh. Ow.
think my trooper just died for realsies. Please. Oh god, Caden. Caden's still passed out by the bomb. <laughs> well, I think that's so it's Sovereign making that noise, I think. Oh, we have a, we just had a moment. A moment of, oh, Ashley, we left Ashley to die. Don't worry, bro, I got you. Look at me just hoisting this man. All right, everybody, hang on. I love it. I remember thinking, oh, we're definitely gonna go get her. Like, we're definitely gonna get her. It was you or her is such a terrible way to put it to you, because now Caden, Caden's also going to have, like, guilt, you know? Just like me. Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. Why me? Why not her? Oh, this is one where it's like, oh, this is really rough, you know? I don't know. This, this is a bad one. It's like, I'd never leave you. Like, not bad necessarily, but... It is one that more inclines to the fact that I have affection for him. Uh, which one do I want to do? I think we'll try this one. Oh, we'll go the slightly romancy route. Like, why not? I, I feel like for my shepherd, it would be a bit more between the two, but I can't say that the affection between them didn't uh, didn't affect it. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting. I know, I feel I so weird. <laughs> I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces Did together. her... Did her gloves always have those like bone looking things on there? Like, like it looked like it was like a like a just like a really cartoonish almost outline of bones or like a silhouette, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I just noticed that. Anyway, we just had this moment in front of everybody and now everybody thinks that I, you know, left Ashley behind because I'm sleeping with Kate. Even I'm not, I haven't slept with Caden yet, to be fair. I can't say it wasn't a deciding factor, especially for me personally. Like, he's my romance. I mean, it could be really tragic. You can make like a tragic romance, you know? But I don't know if the rest of the games really acknowledge the fact that you like let your lover die, you know? But it could be fun, like, or, you know, bittersweet headcanon. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Look at that, yeah, on her hands. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. It must have always been there, I just never noticed. I do wish they would change the cutscene every now and then. It doesn't really change much. Like, I feel like for every iteration because like it happens to us like three times that we should get i mean you get this is like new in the second one i, I never thought the images would be so intense. you've done this three times i need a moment to collect myself you've done this like three times already <laughs> uh but yeah i wish they could show us just a tiny bit more but you know the mystery did the vision make any sense to you it's 
A distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilo. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, it makes sense, right? Like, you can only have bits and pieces, and, like, the way that it's programmed is, like, so alien <laughs> to us. Um, I think I might get a mod that removes Liara's painted on eyebrows, because they bother me. To be fair, we're at the end of the game. <laughs> we're at the end of the game. It's pointless now. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm going nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw a mention of I this on report so fast. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. <laughs> Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. You probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about oh your my gosh. the Reapers. These people are ridiculous. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Oh my gosh, I just stop a global or a freaking galactic invasion on my own. Oh boy. Oh, um, I guess I should probably call it here. I was gonna say we should run around. Um, We should run around um, ch and chat with people, but we just have to remember that when we get back, everyone's going to be, you know, reeling from the loss of Ash. So, Cause she was, I mean, she was integral to the team. So, um, but yeah, so we're going to leave it there with the council being dinguses. Like, just come on. Like, I know it sounds far fetched, but. There is also evidence to corroborate, plus, like, well, I guess, I can't, I had my people who were with me, but they probably wouldn't believe them. Like, I had Rex and Caden. And, um, at the very least, we have, I think we have some Solarian, like, down on the bottom of the ship, there are some Solarian survivors that could attest the indoctrination, but they're just gonna be like, well, oh, you're just under stress. Like, I don't know. They're, they just come up with a bunch of excuses to not believe me. But, anyway. 
<laughs> this is the part of the video where I say thank you to people who are not at all like the council and are good, wonderful people. My Patreon, my patrons. <laughs> um, so I want to say thank you to all of you, but in particular, my sapling patrons who are Scalamonger, thank you so much, and Rescalito, thank you as well. And I wanted to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is more definitely like, um, I was going to say Shepherd, but maybe Anderson, and definitely not like the council, because council are wool stinky, stinky poo poos, and I just, I'm 12, it's fine. So thank you all again for supporting me and thank you everybody else for watching and supporting me that way. I do appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one.